Welcome to Poulton's Park and a far cry from opening week where this place was rammed with people and enthusiasts and everyone coming to try the new, uh, the new Tornado Springs. Today is an off-peak day at the park. And much like Chesington, an off-peak day is very much an off-peak day. There is barely anyone to be seen. My favourite kind of day at a theme park. Now then, today is going to be very POV heavy. We're literally going to walk around the park and um, we don't expect many changes. Portons do most of their stuff during closed seasons. There's not a lot that goes on during. However, we do have the new uh, flyer to look at, the new roller coaster being constructed down in Tornado Springs. Plus, we want to do some of the things we didn't do last time. Um, you know, sky swings, a pirate ship, a caterpillar, which we didn't uh, take you on board last time, as well as Little Africa and some of the bird areas as well. So yeah, we've got a few things to do. Some of the park is open now, other parts of the park open at 12 if you are looking to arrive. Uh, we've not got a problem, we're, we're here at a point where we're going to take you on everything. So it doesn't matter, doesn't matter at all. We're going to start over in the Lost Kingdom with Flight of the Pterosaur, move to Velociraptor and kind of make our way around um, down to Tornado Springs rather than starting down in Tornado Springs. Now coincidentally enough, being an off-peak day, most of the park is full of families and children. So I expect Peppa Pig World to be quite busy, but I don't expect much of a queue for anything else, to be honest. I expect walk-on, walk-on. And I know none of their coasters require a minimum amount of people. So unlike Vampire, where we were sat on there for ages waiting for people, that's not gonna be the case today. But as you can see, playground is now open. The uh, water fountain is now back on. You can see a flight of the pterosaur in the background. On some rides. Now normally we wouldn't film this because obviously it would be full of children enjoying the hot weather. However, it's not quite hot weather, so there's no one in here. Um, so it's really the first opportunity we've had to kind of show you the water park. That's not something we can really look at during the summer. And there's a lot here, you know, from kind of running through the hoops uh, to standing on at the spots. Big waterfall over there, sprinklers, tipping bucket. A lovely little water park to be honest with you. I just don't think anyone's gonna be enjoying it today. Flight of the pterosaur are roaring around the Lost Kingdom. Now funnily enough took a very slight wrong turn and have ended up at the uh <laughs> the sky swinger. <laughs> so I think we'll do sky swinger first actually because we didn't go on sky swinger last time we were at the park. Um, all the focus was on Tornado Springs, on what was a, a sold-out day, to be fair. Now, this actually was the very, very first double-seat Sky Swinger I ever saw. I'm sure they existed, don't get me wrong, but this is the first one I ever saw. Generally, these carry a 1.2 metre height restriction with double seats, just one metre when accompanied by an adult. So it does make what is really quite a free sort of ride, the way you sit in it and spin round. Quite accessible to younger people, um, families as well. And it again makes me wonder why places like Chesington who have one of these, uh, you know, even when Orton Towers have one of, their, one of theirs, didn't adapt it in order to do it. Because as you can see, the double seats in terms of the hooks at the top are fairly much the same design. Um, Chesington's does have three roads, but this one only has two. Although obviously Chesington's only has two at the moment due to the uh, ongoing situation. But yeah, I think we'll start with the Sky Swinger. We missed it last time, so we'll take you on board of that.
great ride on the Sky Swinger. Quite a short cycle actually for a quiet day in fairness. There's Boulder Dash, but Flight of the Pterosaur is our next stop. Uh, again, when we look at it, we said last time just how great it looks with the paint. I mean, even the entrance just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Colour, definition, you know, the cleanliness of the park is just superb. And I love these little grates through here where you can obviously see see the roller coaster and how well it's built up on the inside. Great choice of plants and things, just simple yet so effective. Really is. A flight of pterosaur, our next stop. A long and windy path to the pterosaur. However, you can't really complain because there's no one in it. No one in it at all. Sorry if you're tall, you're not getting on. Right. Head to the front. Flight of the Pterosaur, nice front row there on Flight of the Pterosaur. Um, you can tell everyone's down with the pig because um, there's no one else on the ride. It's just double round, no issues at all. Oh, I love it, absolutely love it. What a great ride that is. And um, I know I've had front row before, but that's definitely the first POV we filmed front row. So I hope you enjoyed that. The sun's sort of out, sort of out. Just a beautiful family coaster that. And uh, now we're gonna go around the corner, head to Velociraptor. Right, here is a Velosa, Velosa, Velociraptor. I keep thinking of Velosa Coaster. I don't know why I keep thinking that. I can't possibly imagine. I've been watching that and feeling jealous for all those over in, uh, over in Florida that get to ride that. However, this is our next best thing. It's not going round, which means there's no queue. Velociraptor down and now for a short trip through the gardens down towards the caterpillar caterpillar we missed last time we were here I uh, can't remember if we showed you the new uh, flamingo cage I think we did it's definitely been finished off even better since we were last here it's great that you can get close to them to be honest I know Chesantons you can see from Zufari but you just can't see them from Zufari Yeah, loving life, look. Yeah, great to see, great to see. Gardens here are stunning, absolutely stunning. And I know we've said it before when we've come, the Japanese gardens over there look incredible. And you've got all these little hidey, hidey hole kind of places here. We can go over bridges and 
Now, when we came for Halloween, we went through the, well, the like, little walk over here, which they kind of done up as well. But of course, we do forget they got birds in here. Various owls, whatever they are. But look at the landscape, the landscape's just lovely. A little walk through there, they did for Halloween with some spiders and things, which was really nice. Nice little touch as you're walking through. And this again, feels away from the park. You think that kind of Orton Towers probably gets the, uh, you know, get away from the theme park, but this is still really quite area. And it's lovely, they've got some enclosures down here for the birds as well. Something which Portland has always had. And really from here, you can't see many rides. But we're gonna go through there and we're gonna head on Caterpillar. That is our next stop. front row seat on the Caterpillar as you can see not very busy today and um, this is one that really does benefit from having a full train in fairness when you're sitting on the front and there's no one else on the train um, it's not quite the same not quite the same push round um, yeah it does really really benefit to be fair from a full train but I love a little family coaster one of the park's original ones opened in the 80s this did Definitely been a stable, definitely been a stable of the park and obviously refreshed when this area turned into Chris Creek. And here is Tornado Springs. Now something that is on its uh, yearly maintenance at the moment is the carousel. So the park do publish on their website when rides are gonna be shut. So you can plan well, well in advance if there's a particular ride you're coming for. I highly doubt anyone comes especially for the carousel, in fairness. Hell's Auto Academy, I really want to go on that. And as you can see, the carousel's undergoing its maintenance. So completely stripped down, taken apart, everything checked, everything cleaned up, everything tested, everyone's working on it. So always say that Portons get all these done in a week. You know, we see other parks, they shut for the whole closed season. Portons is really only shut for January and, and a half of February. Other than that, most rides and attractions are open all year. And it's one of the only parks that sort of really, really pushed that for a long time. It's getting better throughout the Merlin parks, but the whole focus of the maintenance team goes on these rides. So you can see everyone's there doing it. Don't know when it's due to reopen, but it, it can't be long. It can't be long. And look at this, look, here we are. Storm Chaser. And of course, Route 83 into Tornado Springs. Now I think I might do Cyclinator first. I can see that spinning down the back there with hardly anyone on it. So we're gonna head down to Cyclinator. I just love it. So it has been a month now, a month since this opened and since we were, we were here for the first time. It doesn't seem that long ago, to be honest. But it still looks fantastic. Right, 
Psychonator, down a Psychonator. <laughs> A cracking ride there on Cyclator, running really, really well. I love that thing. Still a bit tight on the head space, but I have to say, once you're on it and you're going through, love it, love it. Now, we can't come here without getting an upgrade, obviously, on the park's new roller coaster for 2022, which is this one here. Crop Duster flying into Tornado Springs 2022. These have all been put out since we, um, literally, a day after we came to the park. And it is well underway. The theming is well underway. You can already see the barn theming. It just looks amazing. The roof, everything's done. You've actually got glass on the side. We'll see if we can get around to that. My guess is the queuing area is probably the back bit, I would imagine, with this being the exit. Not quite sure where it's going to exit to. I guess it's going to go down by the restrooms and then it'll open up where we're standing now as a walkthrough with a queue line expected sort of over here. But yeah, it's looking amazing. It really is looking amazing. I mean, were you expecting Portland's Park to get another roller coaster for next year? Sure, it's not to the same scale as, you know, Cobra, 
flight the pterosaur or uh, you know storm chaser but still another family ride for next year and you can just about see up there now you can see the, the glass the windows are in you know there is no detail that's got unmissed already already no detail that's got unmissed and once this is all open and uh, these these blue uh, coverings come down here I would imagine you can see through it's just gonna look fantastic it really is gonna look amazing you can see the color scheme on the inside is gonna say very much the same you've got a brown color scheme on the gates um, it's raised off the ground as well so there'll be a little bit of a queue a little bit of a queue heading up same as storm chaser but just the barn and they've done it in angle and um, you can see where the panels have been put in you know you can expect a lot more rich theming in this it just looks amazing coming next year theme to a crop duster as you can see can't wait A pleasant pirate ship, that one. Over now at Magma. The park's drop tower. This will be our next stop. So we've just come from the other side of the park. And uh, I think it's fair to say that um, it's dead today. It's absolutely dead. Um, we've done Storm Chaser. That was incredible. We got a backwards sort of, uh, you know, permanently backwards on that. And it was really, really, and I mean really intense. Um, and then of course we went on the pirate ship before heading down here to have a look at this. Now of course we do actually have, we have been, since we last came to the park, we've been on Crop Drop. Um, Chesington's drop tower, the same SBF drop tower.
And that's obviously a, an updated model uh, to this one because this one, we, we noticed some differences already. This one only spins one way. I think depending on what you're doing, it, it kind of only spins one way. Uh, where Chessington's one rotates during the ride, this one doesn't. Um, this one as well, obviously, um, doesn't uh, it doesn't have the automatic restraint lift which um, Chessington one does and we did say that would probably be a bit of an issue because this one they have to plug the uh, air into uh, compressed air to release it much like you do the spinning coasters uh, Chessington's doesn't so Chessington have definitely got an updated model of this one undoubtedly however this probably has a better ride cycle and is definitely our next stop Oh, magma, love magma. It's got a really good rise cycle, a couple of big drops, a couple of, uh, you know, sort of bouncing drops down. Really, really good. And here's the park's uh, sort of wild mouse coaster, Cobra, which is our next stop. As you can see, it's really not that busy around this area at all. Now, as we said last time we are at the park, Edge is currently closed. Waiting for a park which won't arrive till June. So, no edge today. However, Cobra is open, so that is our, uh, our next stop. I mean, it's, it's just no one around. There's literally no one around. I love this ride. This ride's really underestimated, really, really underestimated. It's such a good attraction. These corners are taken at such pace and the helix is down here, the double helix. It's just fantastic, it really is. You most definitely can't underestimate Cobra. And that's our next stop. So again, I think we'll be able to get you front row. <laughs> I can't see any issue. I'm pretty much gonna be riding by myself anyway and we'll get you on Cobra.
really quiet over here. That was Cobra, obviously, from the front seat, because, you know, only one on it. Only one on it. Um, now, interestingly, a lot of the photo booths aren't actually open today. Um, they are, uh, you, you can get your picture from other places, but yeah, they're not open today. There's not many food outlets open today either. Main restaurants are open, including the one in Tornado Springs. And I want to try that hot dog again, so that's definitely something that I want to do later on. But it's just so quiet everywhere. It's just so quiet everywhere. Pretty much all the rides that we've taken you on board we're going to do some re-rides we're going to have another look around the park as well but it's just so quiet honestly an off-peak day at Portons Park is better than what it is at Chessington because because there's just so much so so much you can get on in a day um, afternoon morning whichever one you come for there is so much you can get on amazing value for money genuinely amazing value for money and we're still not done now then, through the other side of Pepper Pig World here is a little Africa, which opened a couple of years back. Um, somewhere else we didn't actually venture into, so we're gonna have a little look around here. I think we've only been in here once, to be honest, which was shortly after it opened. Oh, these are loads of meerkats in it. Absolutely loads. A lovely enclosure, isn't it? Just full. Lovely enclosure, full that one. So I think the walkthrough area is shut because of everything that's going on. Kind of makes sense. Yellow mongoose. big enclosure I think they all were all down the other end though there's a cape porcupine the porcupines out today possibly not and the aviary so there are a few birds in the aviary not something we can go into today, but we're also going to have a look down the mill bit because that was being redone. The water mill was being uh, refurbished last time we were here last year and we didn't actually check this year. So we're going to walk down there and have a look down there as well. Finally see. Oh, here they are, look. Sleeping sleeping and then the beautiful views over here so we're gonna have a look at the pelicans down there and see whether that's all been finished a really lovely area little africa really complements sort of the the edge of uh, pepper pig world nicely and of course it does incorporate some of the birds they've had before and some of the other uh, animals insects reptiles they've had before as well now we're going to head down to the water mill and have a look down here as we said when we came last year that was sort of being refurbished um, and the pelican area wasn't quite finished. However, it does now look like we're pretty finished down here. These used to live over where I think Al's Auto Academy was. And obviously they were moved for Tornado Springs. That's chilling out, Got a nice big area. And the water mill was having a new roof. So I'll have a quick look down there and show you that. But it's beautiful again it's just it's just an escapism down here 
away from the rides. I know they don't perhaps have their, you know, B&M flying nemesis, which you might want to escape from at Orton Towers, but still, there's a lot going on at Portons Park now, a lot going on. And there's the old water mill, so we weren't able to come down here. I actually don't know whether I've been down here before, so have a look at it. Let's go and have a little look. From what I'm aware, a very historic part of the park, this. Please press to discover more. I'm gonna to have to go and press that button. That's all going around that. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I didn't realize everything was working down there. Did not realise that at all. Welcome to the Bolton's Water Mill. Yeah. This water mill was built in about 1860 and is a Ponsalot brass shop wheel that is 4.5 metres in diameter and has 56 individual water buckets. This type of water wheel was invented by Jean Victor Ponsalot in 1823 while working at the Ecole d'Application in Metz. This revolutionary new design roughly doubled the efficiency of existing undershot water wheels through a series of detailed improvements, and Ponsalot wheels quickly became common in France and Germany. As far as we know, it is the only one of its kind in southern England, and one of the few still in existence in the world. The water wheel was used to drive a rack bench saw, much like the one you see today for cutting timber from the Polton's estate into planks. The wooden teeth of the drive wheels are made from hornbeam, a deciduous broadleaf tree which you can see growing by the side of the mill. The mill has undergone two extensive restorations to return it to its original working condition. The most recent work was undertaken during the summer of 2014. This involved dredging and clearing the river from the mill to 500 metres downstream. Clearing the river needed an extensive tree work, and if you stand by the water wheel today, you'll be able to see further downstream than has been possible for the last 100 years. All 56 of the custom-made buckets have been replaced on the water wheel, and the wheel itself repainted. Inside the mill, the drain in the pit below the large circular saw was unblocked, and the rotting sawdust dug out to replace. So I'll go up there and have a look in a minute. ...what might have been seen in the mid-1800s. To your left, you can see a cart which has markings on it, linking it back to a manufacturer in Leeds. In addition to the large circular saw, there are various small... So, it looks like this is the, uh... One of the only ones uh, in southern England, they think. And here it is. The old water mill. So yeah, indeed, it's been here since the 1800s. It's a historical part of the park. Um, 2014 is when they had the big restoration, which probably resolved around the river down here, so you can see down there. But certainly the roof was being done a couple of years ago, uh, around about when the Pepper Pig expansion was done. It's always not classed as major refurbishment, just a new roof. But it is now sort of back to its former glory. Maybe saying a Portons Park that you never get to see. Let us know what you think. Have you been down to the water mill? I have to say, first time we've been down there. Chilling in the Route 83 restaurant with a wonderful hot dog. Some great views out to Ornado Springs. And of course the sun has come out as well. The sun is out, sort of. It's warmish. Better than it was, let's put it that way. What a view. What a view. Quick food break, finish the hot dog. I think we'll just go back down the other end of the park actually and 
test out Cobra again, maybe back to Magma, work our way back, and no doubt we will finish off back over here in Tornado Springs. So back in the Lost Kingdom, look, even in the middle of the year, it's touch-ups, it's paint, it's getting it all sorted. Middle of the year, look, any kind of dust or anything, and pawns can't get it fixed. Now whilst we're here, we'll watch uh, Velociraptor come around. Zoom through here. And back to the beginning, but yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? Where paint, look, you can. Just, I mean, just to give you the idea. You've got the old one there, which is a little bit faded, a little bit grubby at the bottom, but not, you know, not incredibly. And then they're just repainting the whole lot, complete with detail, not just one, not just one flavour, the whole lot. That's just incredible. There are some lovely red birds in here. They got some colour to them, these ones. Back down in Tornado Springs. And of course, Cyclonator. And the wonderful Storm Chaser. Just had another couple of rides on Storm Chaser. It's walk on, sit on, stay on, don't move. Everything you could hope for on a day like this. Uh, it's quietened right down actually, there's quite a lot of people eating here earlier when uh, I was having a hot dog and it's quietened down a bit. Pepper Pig World has remained fairly busy today, it's certainly the bread and butter for the park but it's great to see that, you know, just sitting on there then there's a, there's a little one on there, you know, she must have just been tall enough to go on there. When she started off by sort of you know, semi-crying, looking apprehensive, and come off laughing. That's exactly what you want to see. That is exactly what you want to see from Tornado Springs and uh, Portland's Park. But the more I ride Storm Chaser, the more I think it's, um, it's dark horse. Dark horse for a, a real classic, it really is. Now we're going to have a quick look around by the stage, because uh, we did notice earlier that uh, things have changed around by the stage area since we last saw it. Now then, as you can see from here, there is now under under seat under, under shelter seat in there, uh, which wasn't there beforehand, which is obviously helping with uh, the current situation. But also, a couple of years ago, when we came to watch the show, particularly at Christmas after it had been raining, um, it was a real pain because all this was sort of blocked off where these benches are, and when you kind of did get on them. It was really muddy under feet and it was it was really really difficult to do anything on it now you've already got quite a big picnic area over there slash seating area for the restaurant that's now been extended with this and my guess would be that once the uh, stage shows back up and running these chairs will go back inside these are ones that are usually found inside and it'll all be ready and nice under cover but this bit here has been astroturfed all opened up around there um, and it was really bad the grass here got really bad so yeah this is lovely this is lovely leads really on from a nice eating area uh, this has always been here in fairness that's not new but this is new all this shelter under here i said it'd be great for christmas when you're watching the shows absolutely brilliant yeah good good thinking by portons absolute good thinking by portons and this will make life a lot easier underfoot. More improvements. So into Tornado Springs to try out the Sunday. You now I'm like with Ben and Jerry's when I go to the Merlin Parks or Chesington because they're the only ones that seem to be open. So yeah, time to try the Sunday. This thing a bash. See what this is like. 
I have to say that was lovely absolutely lovely 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 so that's it we're gonna end it inside the park today this was Portons Park back for an off-peak day uh, a month after Tornado Springs opened what a pleasure it's been what a pleasure it's been um, you know just highlights again Storm Chaser it's a different ride every time we said it first time around it's very very different it's not like your normal spinners um, you know you can go one way around the track and if, you, if you're facing backwards it's really really intense don't think it's not do not think it's a you know children's ride it's really not it is a great family thrill ride for all the family brilliant the area just looks fantastic with the new coaster coming next year to kind of entice the smaller ones into the area with the Cyclonator and Storm Chase definitely uh, dominating inside of Tornado Springs. The grounds look beautiful. As always, it is the best kept park we have undoubtedly in the UK. It's not even close to anywhere else. It's, it's a cut above. And as the park improve and improve and improve, they're going to start leaving people behind. Genuinely, it's not long now. A couple more investments, a little bit more theming down the back there. And it's going to start leaving places behind and they know it as well and even going into the lost kingdom today to find them repainting the skirt i mean you know you look at those skirtings yeah all right they're faded a bit and there's a couple of paint marks out but you think of all the other parks in the uk they just wouldn't do that attention to detail mid-season they might do it close season but they're certainly not doing it mid-season and there they are painting it up getting it fresh and ready fantastic day fantastic day anyone that says it's expensive to come to for uh, to, to portland's park at uh, 35 pound honestly you can spend the whole day here you can ride and ride and ride we literally sat on rides all day re-ride 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 it's got some great food i love that route 83 restaurant and it's got great dessert as well genuinely something for everyone just looks beautiful but from Portland's Park for the second time in a 2021 season my name's Adam thank you for joining us please remember to like and subscribe we're trying to get around as much as we can and we want you to join the adventure we'll see you soon